Charlie and the Chocolate Factory by Roald Dahl. This book tells the story of a young boy called Charlie Bucket and his adventure with Willy Wonka through his chocolate factory. An important room this, cried Mr Wonka, taking a bunch of keys from his pocket and slipping one into the keyhole of the door. This is the nerve centre of the whole factory, the heart of the whole business. I'm so beautiful. I insist upon my rooms being beautiful. I can't abide ugliness in factories. In we go then, but do be careful. Don't lose your heads. Don't get overexcited. Keep very calm. Mr. Wonka opened the door. Five children and nine grown-ups pushed their ways in and oh, what an amazing sight it was that now met their eyes. They were looking down upon a lovely valley. There were green meadows on either side of the valley and along the bottom of it there flowed a great brown river. Once more, there was a tremendous waterfall halfway along the river, a steep cliff over which the water curled and rolled in a solid sheet and then went crashing down into a boiling, churning whirlpool of froth and spray. Below the waterfall, and this was the most astonishing sight of all, a whole mass of enormous glass pipes were dangling down into the river from somewhere high up in the ceiling. They really were enormous, these pipes. There must have been a dozen of them at least, and they were sucking up the brownish muddy water from the river and carrying it away to goodness knows where. And because they were made of glass, you could see the liquid flowing and bubbling along inside them. And above the noise of the waterfall, you could hear the never ending suck, suck, sucking sound of the pipes as they did their work. Graceful trees and bushes were growing along the riverbanks, weeping willows and alders and tall clumps of rhododendrons with their pink and red and mauve blossoms. In the meadows, there were thousands of buttercups. There! cried Mr Wonka, dancing up and down and pointing his gold-topped cane at the Great Brown River. It's all chocolate! Every drop of that river is hot, melted chocolate of the finest quality. The very finest quality. There's enough chocolate in there to fill every bathtub in the entire country and all the swimming pools as well. Isn't it terrific? And just look at my pipes. They suck up the chocolate and carry it away to all the other rooms in the factory where it is needed. Thousands of gallons an hour, my dear children. Thousands and thousands of gallons. The children and their parents were too flabbergasted to speak. They were staggered. They were dumbfounded. They were bewildered and dazzled. They were completely bowled over by the hugeness of the whole thing. They simply stood and stared.